What is going on, fish people? All right, finally, finally. I graduated and I moved back to my hometown uh, up in the Twin Cities here. And uh, I was able to finally move all my tanks uh, and get them pretty much situated. So, uh, quick do review in case we forgot. Back there is a uh, Christii. Really cool fish. He's pretty colored down, but then we have the Nagari. He's been picked on a little bit. The Ollie, new edition. This uh, really red dragon blood. Uh, now I haven't seen any dragon bloods like this that haven't been hormoned here in the United States. So that's really cool. This is a blue fire from um, his parents were from Thailand. So. Uh, there's a uh, ruby red right there. Got the sunshine. We got LeBron. LeBron the OB. Shout out. And then we got Steph Curry the OB. We got the Lawanda. This Lawanda's. He's he's looking better than uh, than before. And then we have the sulfur head over here. We've got a few females. I think down inside here. Uh, let me see if I can go on this side. We just got a green face peacock. And he doesn't really want to come out. There he is. You can kind of see him. He's not too colored up right now, but he has like a turquoise green face. It's about as easy to easy to explain. And then uh, of course we have our intermediates, who's always looking good. So that's this tank. Uh, I sold a few fish um, to gear up for, for the move. And uh, so these are the ones I kept. And uh, hopefully I can convert this to pretty much in an all-male show tank. Um, and if we walk over here, this is new. We have a... Sorry about the hose. I, uh, I just did a lot of things. But we have a... Three tank stand, 40 breeder. And there's our Lawanda. He looks really good. Sorry about the, the clarity. I just did a water change. But that's the Lawanda right there. I have some fry if you guys want to buy. Uh, feel free to uh, message me or comment down below if you're interested. Uh, I can do some, some shipping or whatnot. Uh, but this is honestly the nicest Lawanda strain I've seen. The uh, the finish is unbelievable. And the, the purple on this is, I mean, it goes from purple to like this bright white. It's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, so that's that. If he comes out, I'll try and show you guys here. Can't really see it a whole lot. This uh, the camera doesn't do him that great of justice, but... He is, uh, he's one heck of a fish. Let me see if I can turn off the light here. See if that helps any. And all the fry swear they look exactly like that. It's, it's pretty impressive. Then down here we're breeding some Eurekas. My male right there, he's colored way down. He was in the 125 and as you can see he's quite smaller than the rest of the fish but uh, he'll breed and then I got a uh, an F1 Taiwan reef here uh, just throw him in there so that's kind of cool and then here's my project I've been working on for a while get way down here we here we have the F1 Lawandas or not Lawandas lemon jake sorry both start with no and I have one male in here that's Looking pretty good. This light's actually pretty bright for him. Uh, and then I have a bunch of other males too. I uh, just noticed like three other ones kind of pop up, but that's that's the good one right there. Um, and if you guys are interested, I could be persuaded into uh, selling these guys as well. These these honestly are probably the nicest uh, lemon jakes also that I've I've seen at least here in uh, in the Midwest. And, in Minnesota so 
that's my project there. These are these are probably one of my favorite fish. So I got some wild caught ones, bred them, and this is the result. You can see. I, I mean, his blue is not even really coming through, uh, and you can you can see it on the camera. So it's it's pretty impressive uh, the quality of strain these guys are at. So that's what I got cooking right here. And then we walk over here. Got the 55, and we've got uh, got some a uh, red empress group. If any of you guys are uh, interested in a red empress group, I got one male. I actually have six females. Uh, five are from this line. One's from a different line. I'll throw in the other one uh, if you want. Um, so if you're interested. And that I could uh, be persuaded into uh, selling those. Uh, I've got a bunch of dragon bloods in here, some OBs from my buddy, and uh, here's the uh, the Thailand dragon blood. He's a little bit more orange than red. He's really cool looking. Um, he the the only reason he would be my breeder uh, is because of his genes. Uh, I like the real deep red, so he's not quite deep red, but his dad was very impressive. Um, so I, I might breed him a couple times to see if I can get that red to pop through. Otherwise, the other red guy's my, uh, my go-to. Sorry about the, the tank. I've got like a crack here and always leaks a little bit. And then inside here, we have some can Candiensis or Candensis peacocks. They're the uh, the blue orchids. And these guys are super cool. Uh, they actually get like a blue black uh, in their body, and then the only thing that uh, really colors up is the top fin. It's bright white. Look it up. These are some cool fish. Um, and uh, if if you guys want, I could probably uh, get you some of those as well. But these are really cool fish, um, and like I said, I mean they're one of the only fish that really gets black. And then I've got a fry tank down here. Uh, as you can see, I've been moving stuff around. The 40 is no longer down here; it's on the rack, and so I'm a little bit in a uh, in a tiz, so to speak. Uh, and I'll set up a few more um, 20 longs or maybe 20 highs down below here to start growing out my fry. So that's what I got cooking right now. Um, I should be able to uh, continue to do these videos uh, like at least one per week. I'm hoping maybe twice a week just to give you an update. Um, also like how things are growing, that kind of stuff. I will go back to doing my uh, reviews here and there. I'm getting some new equipment. Um, so. I, uh, I hope to be uh, talking to you guys soon. Uh, any questions, comments, uh, just write them down below. Like I said, I am getting into shipping fish, so just hit me up. I can uh, send you a quote, uh, and we can go from there. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it means a lot. We're up to, I think, like 200-plus subscribers. That's really great, really great. Um, and then also, I hope to be getting some L177 Gold Nugget Plecos soon. And so hopefully I can teach you guys how to breed uh, fancier Plecos than just the bristle nose. Uh, like I said, thanks a lot guys, and have a good one.